Okay. So I'm sure everyone's got that memorized. <laughs> so here on part two, um, uh, this starts the, uh, the somewhat more technical version of the uh, system session that we had before. And um, what I want to do is together with my most esteemed colleague, Andy, no, you can wait there. I'm, I'll call you up when it's really time, okay? <laughs> you keep working on whatever design you've got going there. Um, most of you, Andy Bechstein, are going to walk through um, what we call the Sun Constellation System. And this is really about how we think computing is going to evolve over time in terms of how you can bring together storage, network, and compute and create fundamentally a different value proposition uh, around, the, um, around your infrastructure. So first of all, we're going to talk about big changes happening in the industry and happening uh, across the, the board. So on the right-hand side, in compute, we already know this, right? It's all about many cores, many threads, at least we believe in many threads, maybe other people don't, but um, and open platforms, right? One of the things that's coming in the storage area, storage is becoming an open platform. And what's also happening in networking is you're really stepping up the bandwidth curve in terms of what you can do, although open platforms actually haven't happened yet, right? So the interesting things is as these technologies become open, they can also co-evolve more effectively and many other people can get involved in them, become sort of an exciting confluence of events that are going on. The other thing that's happening is in all applications, all applications are, are changing in terms of how people think about them. And you heard Jean-Luc and others is, first of all, everything is clustered. Everyone's building horizontally scaled applications and everything is clustered. You don't do one of anything ever anymore. It just doesn't happen. And so the question is whether the cluster is 10,000 or 1,000 or 50, but there's not a question about whether things are clustered or not. And clusters by inference involve networks. Open source. During the course of today's presentations, we'll be making projections and other forward-looking statements regarding expected future financial results and business opportunities. Our actual future results may be very different from our current expectations. We encourage you to read the 10Ks and 10Qs that we file periodically with the SEC. These documents contain a discussion of the risks facing our business, including factors that could cause these forward-looking statements not to come true. We do not currently intend to update these forward-looking statements. In addition, during the course of the conference, we may describe certain non-GAAP financial measures, which should be considered in addition to and not in lieu of comparable gap financial measures. For the most directly comparable gap financial measures and related reconciliations, please refer to the slides posted on the Sun Analyst Summit 2008 page and the earnings call financial slides and operations analysis, all of which can be found on the investor relations section of our website at sun.com slash investors.